Okay, guys. So, um, we're back to Resident Evil 4, and uh, let's talk. Let's 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 me and you. Let's wrap. So anyway, um, we are almost done with the game, and I've got a goal, and that goal is probably going to make the game this playthrough more interesting, but it's going to violate everything that I am. Um, I want to get through this game in two more episodes, this episode and one more, and uh, hopefully next episode we'll beat it. So what I'm going to do is try to get through two very big, kind of frustrating parts today, and that's going to require me to be a little less than cautious. So hopefully, maybe we can do it uh, with decent timing, um, or you know, do it pretty quick without taking too much damage. But just to let you guys know, we're not going to be as exceptionally cautious today as we have been in the past. Let me reload this. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, we're just going to have fun with it. You know, this is the, this is part of the bright side of being so cautious for so long, is that we have played the game so well, to such a good degree, and saved up so much health and so much ammunition, so much money, that we can just brush through these last parts. We're, we're already ahead of the game. We're doing good. So, let's just go. So, it seems you killed Krauser, too. How shall I return my appreciation? <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought he was with you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you really think I'd trust an American? To tell you the truth, I was contemplating how to get rid of him. But thanks to you, that's no longer necessary. You were just using him right from the start. Oh, I must hand it to you. You've demonstrated quite a bit of promise by killing Krauser. When your assimilation with Las Plagas is complete, I'll have you serve as my guard. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to decline your generous offer. I have prior engagements. <laughs> Enjoy your smart mouthing while you can. Okay, so... Well... More cutscenes. Okay, so that's Mike, our good friend. Don't get too attached to him, I won't tell you exactly why. But basically, we want to get to this spot pretty quick. Now, the thing about this part of the game is uh, we could just take our time and wait around all we want, and eventually Mike is going to take out everybody for us, so we've got nothing to worry about. But that takes a ton of time, and uh, we don't really want to take the time to do that. So this is where we're going to be a little more... Or a little less than cautious. See, like, if we just wait long enough, Mike is going to take everyone out for us. But we uh, we don't want to wait that long. Oh, here comes some guys now. Let me jump out here. Meet them head on. Who wants some? Come on. And 
Mike is there helping us out. What a good friend he is, huh? You know, Mike, I'll take cover when I feel like taking cover. Now, this door right here is really hard to get open. Um, so tell you what, we could wait for Mike to shoot it, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Ooh, wow, that was a... Okay, Mike took care of that for us. Okay, the Magnum is strong enough to knock it off. So anyway, we got a guy shooting at us above. Let's go up from underneath. Now, normally the way I play is I just take forever in this section, and I just very slowly kill off the guys one at a time. And it does save ammunition and the such. But uh, we're not going to take the time to do that today. Um, yeah. So anyway, the cautious thing to do is just let Mike kill them all, like I said. But uh, we're kind of saying screw caution today. So. And we got to run fast because that guy will mess us up. All right, reload while we're safe here. See, he's getting, he's going through behind us now. We could go after him and get most of the guys there, but and we'll slide down so that this guy can't shoot at us quite so quick. Kick him around a little bit there, and now let's get out our good friend the Magnum because we're sick of dealing with you. Sick of it. That's what I thought. Come on, come on. Oh, you dead. You know, I just killed you, right? Yeah, you know about that, right? Okay. Now, let me real quick uh, reload here. And switch weapons to the shotgun again. Shotgun's becoming our best friend, although, I don't know, maybe I should try to conserve a little bit more ammunition. Now, once we get into this area here, we're in sort of a... You just ticked off the wrong guy. Anyway, we're in sort of a safe zone here. Even though guys are going to be shooting us. I mean, we got our back at least... Uh, our back is covered. The uh, the door closed behind us is all I'm trying to say. So, now I want to get out our rifle here because there's a guy we're going to snipe immediately to the left. Oh, how you like that, buddy? Now, some guys coming this way. Uh, how do we want to get them? We want to use up shotgun shells. Uh, we actually have more magnum at this point, and we are so close to beating the game. Okay, and we are very quickly taking a ton of damage. Okay, time to heal. Alright. Well, hey, I'm still pleased with how we're doing. Considering we're being as reckless as we are, I think we're doing pretty awesome. Yeah, insta-kill, that's what I thought. And now Mike's going to be shooting down here to help us. Okay. You know what, dude? You are getting on my bad side. There. And we're just wasting ammunition and help like it's nothing, but who cares? We are so close to beating this game at this point. Yeah, guys, this is not cautious playing. Don't do like me. doing all right so anyway in this area basically the big door closes and what we got to do is go ahead and get the shotgun now we used up enough of our ammunition there anyway uh ooh, more yes anyway uh we have to hit these two trip these two triggers these two switches in order to open the door here now we can get out who just shot me Run, 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 run. Apparently there's still somebody with a turret down here. And before you leave, be sure to look right there. Get some first aid spray. And we are out of here. And that actually, wow, 10 minutes total. That's pretty good, considering the open cutscenes didn't end until like 4 minutes into the video. Sweet. So hey, we're not doing too bad.
Oh man. Get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. Oh no. Oh man. Mike! Sure, you're the next to go, Saddler. Ooh, I'm sorry, Leon. Saddler, you. <laughs> it's nothing to get all upset about. Don't tell me you've never swatted a bothersome fly. In essence, it's the same thing. What did you say? Insects life doesn't compare to human lives when you've acquired this power you too will understand Guess it's another good reason to get the parasite out of my body <laughs> I wish you luck You know it's really funny to me that they can say the word which I edited out, but they can't <laughs> I hope I remember to edit it out anyway. They can say the word, but they can't write it. I think that's hilarious. Oh, well, anyway, our friend Mike is gone, which is too bad because he was very helpful. Um, and we learned a very valuable lesson. Insects' lives do not compare to human lives, although I don't know anyone outside of PETA who would actually claim that is the case. So we're just going to keep pushing on through. So I guess I need to amend my statement, though. I said we're doing pretty good. The fact is we're really sucking really bad. However, I'm going to go ahead and use that. We're really sucking pretty bad, but we are okay with that because we've just gone, like, we've already, we've saved up so much health and ammunition and everything that we're okay sucking right now. Like, it's, it's totally all right. All right, let's go on. Oh, and into this room and we will get another cutscene. Wait, where am I? Oh, ooh, there's something shiny. Oh, a pearl pendant. All right, in here. Leon, you okay? Yeah. We have to get that parasite out of your body. Yeah, but before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine, let's split up. <laughs> let's split up, that's funny. Okay, anyway, um, yeah. Man, we are getting close to being done, this is neat. Um. Now, we got this one little area here to go through, but we do have a bad guy we gotta deal with first. Let me just save real quick. And the bad guy we have to deal with is a regenerator. But the good news is he is the last regenerator of the entire game. Wrong weapon. Now, what the heck? 
Really? That didn't lure him out? Oh, it did lure him out. Oh my goodness. This one's got four parasites. At least it's not an Iron Maiden, though. Now, we could just run past him, like... Uh, he's got one in his back. Okay. What a jerk. Okay, so we could have just run past him like and never actually alerted. Like, just instead of like alerting him first, we could have just kept going. But we didn't want to do that. We want to scavenge around some, get some stuff. If there is anything here. You guys want to see something creepy? I'll show you something creepy. Not in here. Not, this isn't the creepy part yet. This is the uh, rifle ammo part. Any place there's a regenerator, they gotta give you rifle ammo too, just in case you don't have any. Oh man. They look around some, huh? Let's see, I wonder what's in here. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> scared you, didn't it? Yeah, anyway. Um, so we got quite a few grenades saved back too, which is nice. So we could just, like... Yes, I want that. We really, in, in theory, we could just, like, you know, um, like, just blast people with grenades. Anyway, this next section is the other part I don't like, but I found out quite by accident that it's not as hard as I make it out to be. There's going to be a bunch of guys hanging out around here, and if we want to go slow and cautious, then we can kill them all, but if you kill a bunch of them, then that unlocks a bad guy, a, uh, one of the big turret guys, you know? And uh, we don't want to do that, so we're going to try not to kill too many of these guys and see if we can keep from bringing the turret guy in, at least not for a while. Um, and yeah. So anyway, get our shotgun ready. And we're just going to run past these guys. Oh, that was not a good idea. Okay, so also, did I mention, the good side of this is we actually want to take some damage here. We're heading for this door. But before we can open it, oh no, you jerk, look at what you did. Da, da, da. Okay, anyway, he took a card key and locked the door. And Okay, so now we got to run around and do stuff. And there he goes. So we got to find that guy and kill him. Anyway. And now he's dead because we, uh... He's dead because we blew the thing up. Okay, I'm not focusing very well. Anyway, uh, we actually want to take some damage at this point because if we take damage here, um, the more damage we take, it'll actually make Saddler a little bit easier, believe it or not. So we use a card key here. And that will let us now have access to these, uh, to these rooms in here where we can activate uh, these locks. Yeah, I'm really not talking too well. One of them. Oh, lots of guys coming in. And we'll activate the other lock, and now all we gotta do is get to the door. I'm doing pretty good here. In fact, I actually might let these guys hit me a little bit more just because it'll be good for me to, uh, it'll lower Saddler's difficulty a little bit. That way we can kill him with one, uh, one rocket launcher blast, hopefully. Okay, these guys are kind of weak. Um, I gotta go this way. Let's let the guys, there's a couple guys in here, we'll let them hit me. Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? Hit me, hit me! Seriously? Seriously, come on, hit me. Oh no, oh you hit me, oh no, oh, 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 you're about to hit me again, oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh no, oh you hit me, you hit me. Alright, so let's go on. Now, um, you do, I know that sounds funny, but actually the more hits you take in this area, the easier it makes Saddler, so. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Oh. Leon, 
Now! Okay, so Ada Dunn made us safe, um, protecting us from Saddler. So let's go ahead and heal up. And with this yellow herb, we have about... Oh man, we about got our health completely maxed out. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. I'm going to do some major reorganizing here soon. Um, but as for right now, though, we are at a save spot. I thought we were at a save spot. I thought there was a save spot here. Oh well, this spot will serve as my safe spot. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, friends. Um, yeah, we will continue this playthrough very, very soon and fight Saddler and be done. Hopefully we did enough damage to ourselves in that one area that we can kill him quick. But we'll see. So friends, until next time, stay frosty.